This is um, a standard SSG circuit. It's a um, seven strand coil, one trigger, six power strands, which are connected in series, Tesla fashion, so I've got three transistors. Um, again, the large cap on the input is just to help the, the transformer when I'm running off a, a wall wart. It's running off two batteries at the minute. Um, what I'll do is I'll bring in the pulse generator circuit. And just connect the back the, the ground the grounds together and then connect the output to the base of one of the transistors and then plug it in no, you can't really see much but and hear the hum the pulse the pulse generator doesn't drive the base of the transistor it just just provides a, a very narrow pulse and the, the trigger winding does the rest it, it works like a normal a normal SSG with a, a, a rotor but I went further than the, the, the standard pulse generator circuit this is the pickaxe base circuit that, that drives the SSG now and we've got the same ground to ground and um, the base pulse line but we've also got these two which monitor the state of the charge battery on the back so if I just connect this up the light will come on and that's it we're, we're away charging There's power to the frequencies higher and the current draw is just over 400 milliamps I think the the voltage on this battery is probably quite low yeah that's the charge battery if I disconnect it there was a brief flash from the neons and the circuit saying that there's no charge battery there anymore and that's it, plug the charge battery back in and away we go right what I've done is I've added this small SLA battery on the as a charge battery there's a devolted reading on that and what will happen is when I switch it on it should sh it shouldn't allow it won't allow it to go above 14.5 volts the frequency will keep changing down which I hope you can hear to keep it below 14.5 volts and as the frequency drops down so does the current draw we'll now draw in just under 300 milliamps and the battery is still climbing due to drop again it's shortly there's another drop it'll keep doing that until it goes down to around about 14 14 hertz and it'll go as low as 4 but usually that'll, that'll just keep trickling trickling the battery Now I'm set up to measure frequency, so I'll just switch it on again. And uh, 
you'll see it dropping down this is because the battery is already charged I'll just swap it out for a flat battery you can still see it dropping right I've just swapped it for this 5 amp hour battery so I'll plug it back in and there you go 127 hertz I'll just switch it off switch it for the little battery again switch it back on and there we go it keeps dropping and it'll just maintain the voltage around about 14.5 volts right down to 4 hertz or so usually it stops at about 16 and just trickles the battery but that's that one